is Russia going to invade Poland? And there are a lot of Poles who are very uh, concerned about this. So that's what the video will be about. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the video. And if you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. It just makes an awful lot of difference. And I truly appreciate it. And uh, again, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. You know, we see the Poles, they're, they're practicing their military exercises close to the border. They want to be seen. They're working with the United States and, and getting their techniques down just right. Um, we've shown uh, Russia, we as in the United States, have shown Russia that we're going to support people who need our support against their tyrannism. And uh, so let's see what the cards have to say about all this. So will, um, you know, will they have war against Poland? Poland extends from the Baltic Sea in the north and in the south from the Sudeten and Carpathian uh, Mountains. The northeast bo borders are Lithuania and Russia, and the east, Belarus and Ukraine, uh, Germany uh, to the west, and Slovakia and the Czech Republic uh, to the south. Now, Poland also shares maritime boundaries with Denmark and uh, Sweden. Human activity on Polish soil spans thousands of years with various cultures and tribes on the vast Central European plain. It was the Polans who gave Poland its name. 966, that's the year, 966 Polish statehood was established. And the pagan ruler embraced Christianity, uh, specifically Catholicism. Now 1025, the kingdom was founded. And 1569, they signed the Union of Lublin. 1791, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, one of the greatest of the 16th and 17th centuries, a political system, adopted the uh, Constitution on the 3rd of May. It was Europe's first modern Constitution. Then, at the end of the 18th century, came the end of the Polish Golden Age. The country was partitioned by neighbor states, but in 1918, it regained independence with the Treaty of Versailles. 1939, the German-Soviet invasion of Poland was the beginning of World War II and then, that, of course, the Holocaust. The Polish uh, People's Republic was a chief signatory of the Warsaw Pact. In 1989, through the Solidari Solidarity Movement, the Communist government was dissolved and Poland reestablished as a democratic republic. Poland is a developed market and a middle power. It has the sixth largest economy in the European Union and the fifth largest by GDP. There are very high standards of living, uh, safety, and economic freedom, plus free university education and a universal health care system and 17 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It's a founding member of the United Nations with membership in the World Trade Organization, NATO, and the European uh, Union. Hey, so the question is, will Russia uh, invade Poland? Very simple question, right? So let's see if we get a simple answer. Will Russia invade Poland? I had a couple of folks, actually just one, who mentioned it, but usually if one person mentions something, that means a few people might be thinking about it and not mention it. But someone said, um, there was a question I asked uh, last week, and it, it was a yes or no question, but the answer that the cards gave was not a yes or no answer. And someone was frustrated by that. They said, why wouldn't you just say yes or no? And uh, because uh, if the cards say clearly yes or no, that's what I'll say. But I'm just going to read uh, what the cards indicate. And uh, and that's the card's response, the universe's response, uh, whoever is uh, uh, making this uh, this voice. Uh, that's the response that you get. So if someone doesn't say yes or no, then how can I say yes or no? I have to just read the cards. Um, but th this time we're saying, will Russia invade Poland. You know, Poland's uh, in the process right now of uh, practicing military exercises on their borders uh, with the help of the United States. But before we do anything, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay. Will Russia invade Poland. Will Russia invade Poland? Will Russia 
invade Poland. Interesting. My 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 uh, conscious brain tells me, well, that would be a stupid thing to do. So the um, first card out of the pack, number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Okay, will Russia invade Poland? Okay, the signifier for, uh, card for this, swords, two of swords, truth, justice, rules, law, making a choice. So yeah, obviously a choice has to be made. This kind of says to me, since this is a signifier, is that this isn't uh, written in stone yet as to they will or won't uh, make a choice. But what's the challenge to that? The challenge to that is this seven of cups, illusion and delusion. Well, of course it is. Um, so will they make a choice challenged by illusion and delusion? Cups are emotions, compassions, um, and uh, heartfelt situations. And there's a lot of choices here that can be made. And uh, illusion and delusion, delusion as to the, the choice that will be made. The uh, base of this reading then is temperance, finding a balance. Cups, again, are emotional. And this is finding some sort of emotional balance in that. The past to this reading as to will Russia invade Poland is this Queen of Pentacles. Well, yes. So in the past, the Queen of Pentacles, Pentacles are value. And the Queen is, is the one who's very much in charge of that value. Okay, she's going to help to make a, a decision about what's going to happen. But that's in the past. So I wonder if the, um, how that plays in. We'll, we'll round it up in a minute. The sky of this reading then is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups, again, is passion, compassion. But the Nine of Cups is sort of, um, you know, being ready to display uh, all of your um, uh, emotions and proud of it and want everybody to see that. So, hmm, interesting. The, oh, I didn't draw enough cards. So the final card for that then is going to be this, uh, the final outcome or the likely outcome for the first part of this. This Five of Swords is an abuse of power. Interesting. Will Russia invade Poland and abuse of power? I'll recap this in the end after I get these last four cards. So will Russia <coughs> invade Poland? Will Russia invade Poland? Okay. The self of that question, will Russia invade Poland? Okay, so this is uh, celebrations. This is the Three of Cups. Again, like I said, that's emotions. And uh, this is celebrations. Will Russia invade Poland? And we have celebrations here. This meet leads me to think that no, uh, they wouldn't. There'll be some sort of a celebratory um, situation where people come together uh, of a like mind. The ch uh, environment that that's in then is the chariot. Things moving fast. This is a major arcana card. And this is the first major arcana card that we've had in this. So the environment of things moving along at a rapid pace is of some importance here. But you'll notice that in this card, we've got one of the beasts up and ready to move and the other one laying down and not quite ready. And that's the, um, the darker of the two and the lighter of the two is ready to go on. So will Russia invade Poland? Things at a rapid pace, but the darker side of this hasn't decided to get up yet. And the lighter side is ready to go. The hopes and the fears for will Russia invade Poland. This is the Seven of Pentacles, wondering if you've done enough. You know, this works both ways. This card cuts both ways in this in this reading today because Pentacles are value, um, sometimes money, but I think we're talking about some value here. And so this person is looking at that bush where they've grown these, this value and saying, have I done enough? Do we need to do more? Well, that makes me think of the Poles. You know, have they done enough to protect themselves? And then if you want to bend back and think about Russia, Russia saying, could we do it? Hopes and the fears. But the final outcome for the whole thing as to whether Russia will invade Poland, ah, is the devil. Of course, lesser intention. So this says that it's not out of the question. There's a huge, this is the uh, second major arcana card that's come up here. The first one had a question as to this dark horse as to whether he'd get up and, and run. Um, and then the final outcome we get for this is this devil card being tied to lesser intention. But, you know, I think I'm going to draw just a few more cards, one, two, or three. We'll see how they answer uh, to try to get an answer for that. Will Russia, will Russia invade Poland? Will Russia invade Poland? Can I get a definitive answer as to will Russia invade Poland? One card. The Hermit. Okay. There's thought going into this. It's uh, considering where you're going before you take a step. I'm going to have to draw another one. 
Will Russia invade Poland? End of a cycle, beginning of another cycle. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. That there's too much. There are too many cautions here uh, for that to happen. And the end of one cycle, the cycle that we have is is terrorism right now. And the beginning of another cycle, I always like to lean towards a more favorable uh, part of a reading. And I'll say no. We're getting ready to change from this uh, ugly cycle that we're in into something a little bit uh, lighter. So I'll say uh, my judgment is that no, uh, they won't. And I'll read it one more time, just to be perfectly clear. So, will Russia invade Poland? This is a decision to be made, and uh, there's truth, justice, rules, and law on the line here. And it's and it's challenged by this illusion, illusion, uh, illusion, and delusion. That's a very compassionate situation. The base of the whole reading is finding that compassionate balance, and then the um, uh, past of this is this Queen of Pentacles. This. Uh, queen of value that has that's that's in the past okay she's not uh even playing much of a part of this anymore it's become more of an emotional situation okay then then the sky of this with this nine of cups is willing to display uh, all the trophies that you've uh, amassed so this can be uh poland saying look at the strength that we have or russia uh, wanting to say no it's not russia this is poland displaying all the value that they have and then the um the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this is a walking away from this abuse of power. But we see we have a couple of people walking away from that abuse of power. Yeah, that's where we're going. And then the um, very self of that question, will Russia invade Poland? We have this celebration right here. Happy celebration, uh, raising their uh, passion up into the air. And it's challenged by what? This chariot, which are things coming on at a rapid pace. The first major arcana card that we've had in this reading. But we see the dark horse has laid down and uh, doesn't seem to want to get up. And then the uh, hopes and the fears of that with the seven of pentacles is wondering if I've done enough. And for me, this is on the side of Poland. Again, wondering if they've done enough to show the strength that we're going to fight. The uh, outcome of the whole thing is, unfortunately, this devil, this less, lesser intention. But I just wanted to get some clarification on that. So the last two cards that I pulled, uh, being this hermit, really being careful about the next step that you take. And then the final card that I pulled to help define this is this world card, the end of a cycle, beginning of another cycle. And I tend to look towards the uh, um, positive in, the, in all these readings. And uh, so this tells me the end of that cycle of terrorism is upon us and um, and uh, a new beginning is coming and I have to say that would be a positive beginning so that's where I'm going to leave it I hope you agree with that personally I don't think it's going to happen but you know you have to decide what those cards meant for you uh, the best I can do is just tell you what my uh, divinations are and I hope they meld with what you're thinking and I hope they're correct hey I'm going to show you the cards now so this is Llewellyn's Classic Tarot, a uh, book by Barbara Moore and illustrations by Eugene Smith. Love the box that this comes in. It's got that neat uh, magnetic clasp on there that I'm just a sucker for. The book is very good. I mean, it's a full color book. It's got very good um, suggestions for how you can use these cards in the divination. And then it talks a little bit in here also about uh, Barbara Moore, Eugene Smith. So I, I like the book. The cards, I mean, everything about this works. You can, you've got a little ribbon that you pull the book out, and then it double, does double duty to help get the cards out. And let me show you those. Now, if I understand correctly, the idea that Llewellyn had is that this is the Rider Waite system, but it is a clearer, uh, less cluttered um, uh, images for the uh, divination uh, of the cards. So that's apparently was his uh, remit to um, the uh, illustrator or the artist, uh, Eugene Smith. I'll let you spread them out like this so you can get a chance to, you know, just look at the cards. If you don't look at cards a lot, or maybe if you're thinking about buying some cards and you're thinking about these, you run across this and this gives you an idea if you'd like to have them. I don't know. I just like to spread them out this way. It's an alternative way of shuffling them. And it works really well if you're doing a reading and you have someone who might not feel comfortable shuffling the cards, but at least you can kind of get their energy uh, into the uh, cards this way. So this is classic tarot, and I like them a lot. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.